What's up? Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net. We are inside of Microsoft Office Access Database. What we're going to do is that we're going to do several different lessons. And in this lesson, we're going to start out by creating our database, making some tables, and adding some, adding some columns to our table. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and create a blank desktop database. And we want to go ahead and save it. And let's see. We can go ahead and save it here. Create and then we've got our table here with our default ID value. So what we want to do next is we want to right click on the tab and go to design view. <clears throat> we want to give it the name of users. Click OK. And this automatically gives us an ID. So now the next thing we want to do is username. And we want this to be short text. And then password. We want this to be short text as well. And then we're going to do address short text and then state short text okay now let's go ahead and save it and this is going to save our users table and now we're going to go over here to create and we're going to choose table again once again right click and choose design view and we're going to name this info we're going to do this as info id and this is going to be um, short description <clears throat> excuse me and then long description and long description we're going to make this into long text and then let's go ahead and uh, one other thing we want to make sure that we can connect this database I mean this table to that table and how we do that is that we go down and we choose UID and this is going to be a number so then we save it and now we've got our info and our users and let's go ahead and come over here to our users and let's change this to UID as well that way we can definitely distinguish where our ID is at that connects both of our tables together and so let's go ahead and save this and we want to add in some information so let's come over here to users and then we're going to do username as a test user and password is going to be my password address is one two three four uh, main street and this is going to be north carolina okay we're going to save that and then we're going to come over here to our info and then uh, see there's a way to make it so that we do not have to click on our info tab to open it up and what that is is that we do the following we come over here to our database tools click on relationships and then holding down the control key we choose info and users click on add and then we grab a hold of our uid from users and connect it to uid with info and then we choose create Click on Control S to save it and then close. <clears throat> and then close this one as well. Come over here, open up users, and as you can see, we've got a plus right here. So you click on that plus, and now we can add in information for that user. So this is um, you, um, test users information goes here this is a very long string of text okay and now we can close it and now we've got that information saved so if we come over here and we open up info it is sitting right there we have the information that we added in from our little plus here that we clicked to open up that info table okay and this is wayne baron with darkfix.net with lesson number one inside of access database y'all have a rocking week now bye-bye